What? There it is. Yo, it's Guido. Good morning. How y'all doing? Welcome back to Tactics Talk and World of Tanks with moi. Today we have Blues Traveler. And yesterday we had a long-winded explanation of proc from a light tank standpoint. I'm going to give you a nice breakdown here from the heavy tank standpoint. And we are rolling with Blues Traveler and his King Tiger C Tier 7 Premium Tiger C. Uh, it is a uh, Tiger 2 at Tier 7, kind of a stock thing. Really, really cool tank for Tier 7. He's in middle tier, which is nice. Actually, not bad at all. And he's running the vision setup in his t King Tiger C captured thing with some cola and got got himself a lot of APCR vents and a rammer. Okay, I don't know. I don't hate it. It's uh, it's proc and you've got some vision. That's okay. And a lot of people prioritize vision and it does seem to give him max vision. So let's see how it goes. We're going to talk about it here on proc and how we're going to you know break down gameplay for a heavy tank. What do you do? Yesterday, if you remember, some of the heavies were sitting on the 5-6 line right there, and you will often come up to that point and find other people hanging out there, shoot them in the face, light them, look for shots onto the hill, or potentially shots across on the ridge line there, along the E row, and look for shots for people who might be poking too high. Now, we're going to knock down some trees here. We did not get that spot. Someone else did. But we uh, track him. He tries to get away. He's like, holy cow, and then all his hit points go ahoy. So he goes back to the garage. And we continue to knock down trees. I'd be careful with that kind of stuff. That may attract the attention of some artillery. Uh, it doesn't seem to matter because the artillery is not shooting at you. I don't know. Uh, notice the name of the M44 right there. I'll just like uh, do this. Uh, I think you can probably fill in the blanks if you're of my age. But anyway... <laughs> We come up here and there's nobody hanging out. We see a BZ-176 going. The CS-44 is getting some lights. We're a little too far forward there. I think you need to be really careful about this. Did you not just see a Leo die by doing this? All right, so the thing is, you got to be very careful with the way you play this game. There are many crossfire opportunities in here. We, we broke it down, like I said, with the light tank up top. And this particular map can just take a long time to kind of figure out where the, all the other tanks are and, and break down each of the flanks which have uh, co-supporting opportunities of, of shooting at each other. All right, so let's see how Blues Traveler handles this problem. First, he drives out into the open and starts shooting, which apparently has not get, got him uh, lit or anything like that. And we just continue going forward because we're not lit, and we are now in their bush, and we drive through the bush, so this is that very careful gameplay that you should do on this map. You should absolutely be extremely careful on the 5-6 line. And we I am completely kidding. All right, this is this <laughs> this is this is a world of takes, my friends. All right. You you take what you get and you don't pitch a fit. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it just be this way. And I don't know why it's not getting lit by everybody. I don't I don't make this game, all right? I don't... <laughs> Blues, I don't know what to tell you, man. I have I have zero recommendations for this particular match and how it got this way. The Hummel's like, how am I lit? <laughs> Scout King Tiger, baby. Scout King Tiger. What the hell is happening here? <laughs> right, can you? I want you to everyone just sit back for a moment and just enjoy. It's unfortunate we don't have cross team chat or I don't have the replay from one of these guys, but uh, just for a moment. Enjoy the deliciousness of the accusations and recriminations that are being cast about on the other team. <laughs> and you and I both know we'd be right in the middle of that one. Because this is an absolute ship show at the moment. We have a King Tiger C, as of yet unlit, driving <laughs> past the C row, headed into their backfield. 
I don't you I don't know what to say. I'm so excited right now to find out where the rest of their tanks are. There's only one lit. The rest are dead. Well, not the rest. There's one, two, three, four, five, six dead, one lit. Math and public leaves eight tanks. One's an artillery that haven't been lit. And we basically have uh, scoured. Well, we can't see across here. So this section hasn't been seen. And some over here. I, I don't know, four-fifths of the map have had eyes on at this point. They are all in one corner or another. Maybe they're all up on the hill, hanging out with the BZ. Maybe we have a meeting here at A7 that we're not aware of. Maybe there's a bunch of them up on the island. I don't know. I suspect they're back here on the one column. <laughs> I'm so excited to see the rest of this match. Let's see. We're just not going to analyze this in terms of, uh, you know, Prokrovka, the, the greatest map in the game because of how careful and all the crossfire opportunities and you just really have to break down the enemy team. I don't know. <laughs> okay, we found one. Uh-oh, now we're lit. Now we're... Oh, there's a, there's a significant... Oh boy, now we're being shot from every direction. We found another already. <laughs> that are... Oh, God damn. I have to tell you, you just know the enemy team right now is having an absolute apoplectic fit. The Artie is probably leading the charge in terms of screaming. All right, I don't know. what are you doing, man? Stop auto-aiming that guy. <laughs> Aim in, kill him. <laughs> What's it matter, hell? 1,562. We've got 2,205 spotting. We're just, <laughs> just driving around. Driving around in my automobile. Do, 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 do. <laughs> How come the BZ hasn't shot you? What is he doing? There he is. Oh, boy. Oh. Stop. Stop. There you go. Amen. There you go. Well done. Yep. Tracked. Very nice. CC67. The BZ is like, oh, please, just get me back to my other... Just send me to garage. Try to go for those tracks, man. I know you're sort of aiming at it. I don't know. If you zoom in a little more, you might have a better chance at getting into the uh, drive wheel back there. But nicely done. We're going to get a kill on him. Whoop. All right. <laughs> there they are. Tiger P, Viper, Su-122, and presumably the ship tick are all in the back corner. We've cranked her up to 2,605 damage. We have 2,501 assist. We've bounced 660, and we have five kills. What's interesting is the 1-2 line kind of got shredded, and I think they looked at this. We did discuss this. We'll have a slight serious discussion on tactics here. Slightly serious. Uh, it looks like the 1-2 line sort of assumed that this was over and kind of walked into a, a withering fire. And that's some serious firepower if you uh, if you look at it. Let's talk about that for a second. The ship tick just pew 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 pew. The Vipera, you know, once it's got all five shots loaded up, absolutely brutal. A Tiger P, pretty dang good gun, and actually more armor now. And the Su-12244 has a ridiculous firing rate for a 390 Alpha gun. So even though it's a little bit derpy, so there's no real surprise that those guys were able to shred a push that was coming at them. And let's be honest, if we look at the tanks that are left on Blue's team, they could lose this depending on how how it goes here. So we're actually going to be a little more careful. I like this. Okay, Blue's has taken his foot off of the accelerator. I, I wouldn't say he's got the brake on, but we're just coasting for a moment while we figure out what's going on. He's just aiming at where the... I wonder how many of these hit. That's pretty funny. Hard to see. I don't see them hitting the ground behind, but we've got a lot of foliage. We have a lot of flora in the way right there. So it's hard to tell if we're even hitting something. We have all kinds of ammo, although this is expensive because this is all cold ammo that he's chucking down range. Uh-oh, ship ticks found. What do we do? Stop it! He hit that shot! <laughs> there we go. That's what I like to see. A little bit of aiming. Yep, nicely done. We're up to 3,093. The Vipera knows the jig is up. Yep, and he just melts. Now, again, another serious discussion tactics-wise. This is what you want when you're trying to push into them. Your pushers will probably get hit and take some damage, but you have all these guys over here now that have set up the RHM, the Tiger, 
Uh, even the 304 has been smart enough to get close, so his time of flight is lower. We have all kinds of snipers shooting from every direction. That's exactly how you want to take this down. Because it's a fairly powerful defensive position, but once it, you get a crossfire going on, it's there's not a whole lot you can do while you're back in those bushes. Absolutely love it, Blues. This was uh, this was just no, don't no. All right, you, we got to fix this one, my friend. We got to fix this one. Let's think a little bit before we just automatically try to auto aim everything, and let's see if we even can get a shot on this dude right here. Who's gonna get lit? In just a moment. Where is he? Where is he? He's coming up. Show us. There he is. All right. Let's just kind of zoom and see what we could have got. Oh, yeah. That's an easy kill if we just zoom a little bit in there. I don't know what your max zoom is there, but even if we just decline to auto aim. I'm going to let you see. Do we get an auto aim on him? What are we aiming at? Oh, looks like we do have it. But that's my problem with it. See how it aims at center of mass? right there which is really close to the ground and we really want to aim about here the portion we can see we want a center of mass that portion right that gives us a better chance because here just about anything low is hitting the ground right here at least low and high equally little equidistant action right there all right and i don't know where that shot went but i presume in the ground tiger p all right, no thing I'll say right here, fellas. I'd keep pushing. I probably would have shot that one to. I would have stopped actually, aimed a little bit, tried to get the kill and steal that on the 144. But I'd have kept pushing on in. Who cares about the points right here? If this dude was so far across the map, say he was down south here, like way at the end, south end of the map, and I knew I'd never get there, that's fine. Grab some points. But right now he's got enough hit points. He might get in there. Let's see how long he takes to die. He'll probably disintegrate in seconds. Well, okay, so he did make the the. Uh, decision to go just a little late and it looks like even if he'd have pushed maybe he wouldn't get there in time yeah the rhm is going to absolutely nuke him if nobody else does yes cc so maybe it would have been close probably not probably wouldn't have got any shots on him 3093 damage 3481 assist and five kills and what can you say about that man i do actually like the recognition that nobody was there and then the aggressive push in there i think Obviously, if you'd have been lit, that'd have been a pretty quick game. That push would not have worked because all those guys would have shot you right in the side. So, and you even shot this dude. So his view range was horrible. Now, this this thing has almost has really crappy camo, and he and you were shooting. And what's really interesting is none of these dudes were close enough on this edge to see you shoot. I'd assume they were all down low, hanging out in these bushes down here, right, expecting to get shots on guys in the one-two line. And why on earth would they be looking at you know B? Where were you about C or D six? <laughs> Why would they be looking at D six right right at that point in the game? <laughs> I wish I had the chat, man, because I'm thinking it was spicy. Nicely done, man. Thanks for sending that in. Everybody else, you have a great day, and we will see ya.